Hey everybody, it's Katie from Bobby Hair Studio and I'm back today to show you how to fix extended long bleach roots for any of your clients. The formulas might be a little adjusted here and there for some clients, but this is a really, really great technique. It's so easy, it's very efficient, and it works for basically every client with extended roots. So if you wanna see how to take someone with roots that are about this long, which can't be done in just slapping on the roots, <laughs> there is a method, there is a way. You take it from this to this, then stick around and I'll show you how I do everything and I'll spill all my secrets. Before we start, I'd love to give you guys a quick little reminder to follow us on our other socials on Instagram and TikTok at Bobby Hair Studio. It's a free way to help support our channel. So today we're going to be using foils and what I'm going to do to prevent as much waste as possible and get as efficient and fast as possible is I'm gonna cut my foils into these strips around this size and then what I'm going to do is take the edge of my comb and press on the edges and what that does is it flicks up the edges and it's easier to grab. So I'm gonna start by sectioning off my client's hair. What we're going to be doing for our sections today is we're going to be doing a mohawk parting on the top. We're gonna to have the two sides out and we're gonna do the back as two quadrants on their own. For now, I am going to put the two sides as their own partings right now, just to keep it clear and neat and out of the way. So I'm going to start out with expressing why I actually like to use foils for this type of service instead of cotton. Uh, no hate on cotton. I do use cotton on some of my services, but I find that I do prefer foils because they have better insulation, so it helps to lift the color up to a higher level. And also because they're a flat surface rather than a bumpy textured surface, it's easier to get right to the line. There's almost never any overlapping with this and there's almost never any little missed areas because there is a flat, clear, easy to see line versus with uh, Cotton, I feel like the positives of cotton are it soaks up extra product if the product is known to swell and expand past a certain area. It's great for that. Again, everybody likes to do this kind of service in their own way. There's so many ways to do this service, but I actually do prefer using foils. And so for the reason why I cut my foils into thirds or sometimes quadrants or halves, just kind of depending on how long the root is, is because it saves on foils and they're easy to shift and remove later. Uh, rather than folding all those ends and potentially getting them covered in lightener, this is a fantastic way to put in foils in a really, really fast way. And it feels like you're using more foil than you would be if you were to just use one each, but instead of having one giant foil fold itself in half and have most of it not even touching the lightener, I am using about half a foil for each of these sections. So I am using about half of the amount of product that I normally would be. So, you know, we're reducing and uh, that's helping the planet. I'm applying my lightener about a quarter of an inch away from the scalp right now and I'm trying to leave it at as a clear line. I'm not really trying to blend it up because I'm going to be going over the roots later. But what I am trying to blend out is that little diffusion because when you have a client who gets a solid bleach root, their roots are a solid line for only so long. And when they start going a few months between services, the line gets more diffused because hair all grows at different rates and at different lengths. So some hairs individually will go through telogen and anagen and catagen at different times, which allows your bleach out to grow softer and softer the longer and longer it gets, because there's more of a chance that the hair has had a different growth cycle in between, versus when you get it done every five to eight weeks, you're going to have a stronger, harder line. The mixture that's in my bowl right now for the back end of the hair is Blonde Me and 7 Volume. And the reason why I'm starting with a 7 Volume is because I want a low and slow developer to start in the back and I'm going to add a little bit of 20 for each bowl that I go upwards towards the front of the head. Eventually to the point where I just do 20 volume because what this is going to do is level up my developers and speed up the process as I'm going so it all catches up beautifully. And uh, spoiler alert, that's what I'm the happiest with on my two stars and a wish today is my leveling worked out perfect for my timing today. So this first bowl is just seven volume and from here on out, I start adding little bits more and more each time of 20 volume into my seven volume until my last row, I'm just doing 20 volume alone. After I've done 
the back, I'm going to do the sides. And what I've actually decided to do with the sides is to do a seven volume as well, only on them, even though I added a little bit of 20 to the top of the back section. The reason why I'm doing seven volume on the sides is because this hair right here is very delicate. It's also finely dispersed, so it there's not quite that much of it and you don't need a stronger lift but I actually used a seven volume just on the sides here because they're going to need a little bit more delicacy, but I'm also having them on for longer than I am on the top because they're going to be exposed to the cooler air because the top is going to be done in a mohawk shape. So whatever area you leave exposed the most to air has to be done before you do your last section. I forgot to film this little part, but what I did start with is I did some seven volume and blonde me for the very front pieces, just because they're baby hairs. And I started with those when it came to the top section. Then what I did was I went to the back and I worked my way forward. My last few foils that I put in, I used a different foil color just so I know which ones are my exact last pieces. So I know to check those to make sure that everything's got the even lift and the last pieces that went in are fully lifted before I rinse everything out. Here I'm checking to see if my lightener has lifted it enough and I'm sure that we actually aren't quite lifted enough to rinse out and that's exactly what I want is I want to be about one level of lift away because now I'm about to put on the roots of her hair. I've also flipped over her mohawk to insulate it really well while I do the root application on the bottom back of her hair. I'm going to start with the side that's been applied first and then I'm going to clip up all these pieces so I can start removing all the foils one by one or keep them in if I, they need to keep going. Because the baby hairs around the neck tend to break really easily, I did pull these pieces out of the foil so that they could dry out and stop processing. Then I'm taking my Blonde Me and 7 plus 20 formula and I'm putting that on the root area that hasn't been covered yet. Make sure to fully saturate underneath and on top of each section and then that way you'll get a really even and soft lift. Something that's important to note here is that I am leaving the processed lightener on her hair as a barrier. And what that's doing is if I were to pull off all of that old lightener and let her hair be exposed to this brand new second full lift, it would have the strength of the full lift on that area that's previously been lightened. If I leave that old lightener on it, it is acting as a like diluted barrier so that it immediately dilutes any lightener that goes on top of the area that I've already lifted. I hope that that makes sense, but that's why I choose to do it this way rather than washing off all of the lightener and then applying her bleach roots on afterwards. This is actually safer for her hair. So here's a reason why I love doing two foils flopped on top of each other rather than to fold a single foil in half. So these ends are almost a tool for me to use because what I'll do is I'll hold the foil up as like my sectioner. It'll be a clean section for me to use. And because the sections that I've done all these foils in are so thin, I don't need to worry about getting my comb in there and sectioning out each piece and making sure that I get really good saturation. It's already pre-sectioned out for me. I'll grab the foils and use them to hold the hair and then I'll grab the bottom of the hair and secure it downwards so that the lightener that I've put underneath each of these pieces on the root pushes forward out towards the top. And if you can see lightener coming out through the bottom, up towards the top of the roots, it's really hard to describe. But if you can see that, then that means you have good saturation. If you're not seeing it kind of push through and bubble up through, then you haven't saturated enough or your section is too thick. I'm going to work my way up the head until I'm working with 20 volume at the root and that's going to catch up all the way and I am going to follow the pattern of where I applied my foils first. So I'm going to be applying the roots on the back, then the sides, then the top. Progressively going from 7 and 20 all the way till straight up 20. I'm just checking my foils. I can see they're not quite done but they're looking great because I'm still applying the root color and this is what I want to see. This might give you a better visual on how I'm pushing the product forward and through to the front of each of my root sections is I am almost sweeping the product. I'm loading it onto my brush and pushing it through in almost a C-shaped motion. And then I'm folding back on the foil using the ends of the hair to secure the hair in place. And then I am putting even more lightener on the top of each of the root pieces. So as you can see, I'm getting great coverage. This is a very, very quick, 
clean and easy way to apply the foils is by using the foil as a tool to keep your hands clean and to shift any of the product away from the root and then grab the ends of the hair to secure it down so you can apply your root touch up. I work all my way, all the way up to the front of the hair and then what I'm going to do is once I get to the hairline, I'm gonna take a little scrap piece of foil and place it on top so that it's not exposed to the cold air and then dries out faster because this is the last section that I put on. However, around the front of the face, it lightens up super quickly. This will catch up nicely if I insulate it well. Now it's time to wash out the back of her hair. As you can see, she has so much buildup of this toning mousse stuff that she uses in her hair. It's a great product, but her hair is so notorious for picking up cold tones and then not dropping them that when we actually lighten up her hair, you can see the huge massive difference in her new fresh color versus the old ends. So what I do to kind of help alleviate that a little bit is I mix together my old bleach that's currently in her hair. I kind of emulsify it through with some shampoo and it pulls out a little bit of that toner, but I'm not doing a full bleach bath today. I'm not lightening these ends because my client does not like to cut her hair. She wears it up all the time. It's very fragile. We're not able to actually put strong bleach on her hair. So now that we have a little bit of it lifted out, we still have to tone and we have to match the roots to the ends. So that's our challenge with our toner today. Can we all just take a moment to like, see how beautiful this lift is though up on the roots. Like it is a pure, beautiful lift. I'm so happy with it. But of course, you know, we wanna be an ash queen. So what we're going to do is we're gonna put on a really strong ash-based formula to try to blend her in with her ends as much as possible. I'm gonna apply it to just her roots, wait halfway, and then emulsify it through her ends as we go. My formula today is a mix of Blonde Me Tea Ice and iris, iris, I don't know what it is, but it's ice and the one that also looks like it says ice, but in a different, maybe like a French word. Either way, um, they're both very light, but they have a lot of ash tones in them to help even out and balance out a lot of blondes onto the more ashy side of platinum. Now that we've washed her out, I did use a little bit of blue shampoo, a little bit of a purple conditioner to add a little bit of cool into those ends because they're a little bit warmer than the roots, but they're also darker. So this is the difficult part is do you darken the roots? Do you add more ash to the ends? If it will, it'll make the ends darker. My client wanted to stay as bright as possible and just use a little bit of her toning shampoo foam at home later when her brass starts showing up. So before you go, we're going to do everybody's favorite exercise um, where I critique myself because of course, we are an honest channel here. Um, here are all of my thoughts on my service today. I call it two stars and a wish. It's two positive critiques and one thing that I could work on better next time. Please keep in mind, this is a professional page where I am sharing all my own secrets that I've learned on my own over the years and negative comments or nasty criticism will be removed and blocked. Considering the extreme amount of ash she adds into her own hair throughout her process at home between appointments, I find that it was really hard for me to give myself an accurate wish because there was nothing that I did with my own service that I could have done to remove more of that without snapping all of her hair off. Her roots were done in a really balanced and beautiful way. I was really happy with that. I think that my only critique is that I should have better customer service in maybe messaging her a few weeks before her appointment and reminding her not to use any depositing shampoos for the next couple weeks so we can reduce as much of that ash as possible so that I can tone the whole thing easily rather than do the roots versus the ends. Overall, I am still happy with my service today. I think I did really really good with my developing and my leveling up and i'm really happy with my end result especially with how beautiful white blonde those roots are i'm super happy with it and i want to know what you guys think uh let me know what you think in the comments below i read all of them even though i don't respond to all of them thank you so much you guys have a great day and remember to follow us on instagram and tiktok